for Elden Ring's runes, items, and weapons up to plus 10 and plus 25, head over to u4gm.com and use the code CARPAL for 5% off. Once again, welcome back everybody to another Elden Ring video. Today we have another amazing weapon to get after, the Horn Bow. And yeah, it's a good one ladies and gentlemen, and I'll show you exactly where you need to go in order to pick this up today. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now the Horn Bow can be acquired from the Sulphur River. It's the bottom side of Nakaron City. Well, how do you get there? Well, you're gonna be taking the Sulphur River well and taking this pathway all the way to where it's located, right out of Limgrave. So if you haven't been here before, this is how you get to the Sulphur well and the bottom side to Nakaron. From the very first steps out of Limgrave, follow this path until you make it to the Sulphur well. From there, we're gonna take this well all the way down and it is quite a trek until we get to the bottom side of Nakron, which is the Sulfria River well. So, I'll see you when we get to that saving grace point. It is quite a trip. So, I'll see you on the other side. Let's go. Alright, we are finally here, ladies and gents. We are at the Sophia River Bank. From the Saving Grace Point, we're gonna go straight right here, our pin location, right beneath the stairs of the hollow grounds. Right there, we see all those torches where I have that pin mark is where we're going. So hop on your horseback and let's head over there and pick this up. So here we are, right underneath these steps, just like that. Jump on over with Torn and pick this up. Pillage this guy. You're gonna have yourself the horn bow. Sweet. Let's have a look at this and see exactly if it's good or not. You do also have some innate magic, strength of 10, intellect of 12, dexterity of 14, in order to will the skill mighty bow. Which makes this really good is that it imbues itself with magic damage. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you get even more damage with magic infused arrows. Here we are at the gate front to get some smaller ads. Yeah, they small, but I just want to see if I can one shot them with this bow. And yeah, fire or magic arrows, you are good to go with this bow. Now we're going to head over to the mountaintops of the giant and try this out. And it's decent, you know, bows are bows. This is a good one because you can fire magic arrows as well as fire. So you got a little bit of both of both worlds working with this bow. And although bows aren't especially one of the best weapon types in Elden Ring, this is a better one. Had a lot of fun playing with this. And if you're one of those persons that want to collect all the weapons and all the bows, well, this is a good one to get after. Look, I showed you where to pick up this bow. I showed you the stats and all of that. Now all you have to do is get up there, get out there, 
then go pick it up today. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpo Gaming, I upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.